Hi everyone. I want to show you how easy it is to make roasted vegetables. These are a great addition to a roasted chicken, steak, braised short ribs, or even just eat them by themselves. So here are six tips to roasting root vegetables. Tip number one, pick vegetables that are similar. I'm using carrots, parsnips, and rutabaga. These vegetables are really dense and hard, which is great for roasting. You wouldn't want to roast butternut squash or eggplant with this because they're just too soft. Here's an easy kitchen hack. Peel your vegetables onto a paper towel. When you're done, you can just dump the peelings into compost and your cutting board stays clean. Tip number two, cut them the same size so they cook evenly. I like to cut my root vegetables three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch. The vegetables are going to shrink when they cook, so you want to cut them bigger than the size that you need. Rutabaga is one of those vegetables that you don't see used too often. It's a cross between a turnip and a cabbage, but don't let that discourage you. It has a mild flavor with a little pepperiness to it. If you like gold potatoes, you'll like rutabaga. Tip number three, simply season vegetables before cooking them. I'm using olive oil, salt, and pepper. That's it. You want the flavor of the vegetables to be bright. When you season with the spices before you cook them, the flavor goes into them and you lose the vegetable flavor. Tip number four, don't overcrowd your baking tray. If you have to use two trays, use two trays. If your trays are overcrowded, the vegetables won't have a chance to caramelize before they're fully cooked. And then put your vegetables into a 425 degree oven. Tip number five, mix your vegetables while cooking. I let the vegetables roast for about 10 minutes before I pull them out and move them around. This helps to make sure that they have a light coating of oil and it helps to caramelize the vegetables evenly. This is what we're looking for. Vegetables that are golden brown, crispy, but tender. If we didn't mix them when they were cooking, we would have some vegetables that would burn and some that didn't caramelize well at all. Tip number six, add your flavor at the end and make sure that there's something acidic. First, we need to chop our parsley and our rosemary. We also need to peel our shallots and our garlic. Instead of chopping the garlic and the shallots, I'm going to use a microplane, which is essentially a really fine grater. Then some fresh cracked black pepper, kosher salt, smoked paprika, sherry vinegar, and olive oil. Mix everything together and then just let it sit for a few minutes. I like to make this while the vegetables are roasting and then it's ready when they're done. The last thing we need to do is add some of the dressing to the roasted vegetables. You can choose how much you want to add to the vegetables at this point and any extra is great to serve on the side. Because the root vegetables get sweeter from the sugars caramelizing, having the acidity really helps to enhance the flavors. Plus, having the spiciness from the raw garlic and shallot elevates this to something more than just vegetables on a plate. Thanks for watching my video, 6 Tips to Make Roasted Root Vegetables. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite roasted vegetables are. See you next time!